have a rule in our house that we don't say goodbye, we always say see you later. And that's David's rule because he says that goodbye is too final. We'd been out shopping and when we came home, my phone um, pinged up a text to let me know that the lifeboat had been called out. I looked straight out the window because we can see the sea from our house. The waves went so high up it was crazy, crashing against the rocks. I could see that Katie was worried, so to reassure her, I did say to her, they won't be sent out in this weather because it's too dangerous. If I'm honest, the weather was so bad, I didn't hold out a lot of hope. In my head, when the pager went off, we were not going to go to sea. It was to the limits of our boat, if not beyond the limits of our boat. To find somebody in the water in them conditions it is virtually impossible. You're looking for a needle in a haystack. So until we got eyes on, literally eyes on, I was not going to commit four crew members with wives and children to something that I couldn't see. But as we were looking out between the boathouse towards the side of the bay, we thought we'd seen the girl in the water. Once we'd seen the surfer, and, and I'd seen her, could see her in the water waving her arms, couldn't leave her. Couldn't leave her, could see her, couldn't leave her. That's the bottom line. You couldn't stand back and watch somebody in the water. She belongs to somebody, so... Paul gives the order to go, and the crew board their Atlantic 85 and prepare to launch into the heavy surf. I was really scared. The thought of having to go out in it, it was frightening. But we're there to save lives, and there was a life to be saved. I thought, David will be home any minute now, and Katie kept looking over at me. The 18th time I looked over at her, she said, oh, get your shoes on. We'll go down to the station just to see. When we came round the corner, we could see the waves crashing over the rocks and a tractor with an empty trailer. That's when your heart sinks because you know then that that boat is in the water. We were going vertical and then disappearing into troughs. To spot a casualty in conditions like that is virtually impossible. Then David shouted across that he'd spotted the surfer in the water. It was a pure fluke that I saw her but my heart sank when I saw how close to the rock she was. We had a chat saying that we didn't think we could get her. But then I spotted a break in the waves, quickly turned to the crew and said, this is our moment. And given that we had rocks just meters from our starboard side, we couldn't afford for it to go wrong. We knew we only had one chance. I turned into her and had to apply uh, full stern power. And luckily, we came alongside her first time. She was crying. Uh, I think she was terrified, which is understandable. It had come over the radio that they'd got the casualty, but at that point, they weren't even halfway through their job. They still had to get back. I'm still worried at that point. You know, things can still go wrong, even though they've got the casualty on board. We went out to sea and then Lee picked a wave to ride back in. I managed to turn on the back of it and get enough sea room to be able to make the turn. Normally, we reverse onto the trailer. Given the sea conditions, we drive in bow first. It was the most nerve-wracking, gut-wrenching feeling watching that. But then relief, <sighs> beyond belief, yeah, yeah. Because you knew that they were coming home. Once we've hit the trailer, it's a brilliant feeling. You can see the relief on everybody's face, not just the crew, but the people that were there watching. That's when, you know, your husband looks round and he sees you and he smiles. You just feel it's just happiness. 
I <laughs> kept on waving to my dad, making sure he knew that me and my mum were there. And when he saw me, it was just <laughs> made me happy. I was amazed that my family was there. I can imagine that it was horrible, horrible for them. It's definitely the most dangerous show that he's been on since he's been on the lifeboat, yeah. Up till now, I've never been scared on rescue. This, this is the only one which I, I thought that there was a chance that we weren't going to get back. After being checked over by paramedics, the casualty is taken to hospital and is later released with a clean bill of health. When we got back and I got off the boat, the first thing I did was hug my wife and my daughter. Me and my mum got up and gave him a big hug, because we always do when he comes back from a shout. You know, he was safe, he was back with us. Big hugs all around. <laughs>